Welcome to JustEYG.com. This is Z68 Keen bringing you a mini map tips and tricks video. Keep in mind that this is on uh, Trading Camp, so I can exaggerate and slow down a little bit more. So I have time for you to talk to you guys and uh, explain to you what I'm doing and what's going on. Um, so at the start of the map, obviously we have our high uh, rush zones which is this zone over here um, so as soon as we get past this I'll get into a little more explanation on what I'm doing um, for those of you who watched the aiming video there's how I uh, I mean use that left stick to get the kill um, by correcting with the right and then just typing over I was able to get the second guy so anyways into the mini map to two roll here um, it takes a minute for the map to get moving or started, should I say, um, before it really comes into play. So, you know, 30 seconds to a minute in the mat, everybody's kind of moved around a little bit. So you saw my team coming down this corridor, so I'm actually going to go up in here. I'm not going to take it for granted that it's cleared, because um, obviously there's a guy right over there. Um, he's going to be dead by the time I get there. But now, you can see that my whole team is pretty much down at that side of the map right there I got one guy that just spawned behind me and he's a solo um, arrow on the map solo arrows are usually pretty good to follow um, but basically what it's telling me is is that we're spawning on this side of the map which means they have to be on the opposite side of the map and they can't be down at that area because the whole team's over there so my best bet even without a spy plane is to know that they're going to be behind me at this point um, by knowing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn around instead of, you know, proceeding down that alleyway and assume that I'm in, you know, pretty hostile territory. And um, as you're going to see, I slowed this down quite a bit here um, because right there in front of me is an enemy player. Um, and I was able to determine that without having to have a spy plane in the air. So even though that guy's wearing ghosts, it wouldn't have mattered. He's still going to die because um, I happen to know where the enemy's at. So, with my whole team being over there, I'm still going to assume that this is still a high priority area. And you know, I'm going to get a few kills here. And even in multiplayer, I would have had these ones um, just by knowing. You mean, now right there, I mean, f to the naked eye, from their kill cam, they would have probably assumed that I was camping there when I really wasn't. We walked over there because we were paying attention to the mini map. Again, my whole team's kind of up here, mid-section, back section of the map here, so we're going to go ahead and come down here to the bottom then. Um, but again, when there's no arrows whatsoever, I'm going to have to assume that I'm in hostile territory. And if you're on a halfway decent team, even if there's nobody down here at the moment, there will be because they're going to start spawning down here. Uh, the spawn system in Black Ops is pretty uh, erratic at times. So again, you know, I don't see no green arrows up here in front of me. I'm going to have to assume, even without a spy plane, that there is somebody going to be up here. Um, and you can see I got the guy right there, ghost or not, doesn't really make a difference. Look at that terrible shooting, you know. Um, but again, it's just me and another solo arrow, arrow so I'm going to have to assume that I'm in pretty hostile territory. Um, take cover behind the jeep, go ahead and, you know, fire off. I guess got a shot here in the back. Now we lose our radar. Now, this is a training camp, so I decided to go ahead and take the time to give you some tips on, uh, aiming, because, you know, they got a jammer. Usually if there's a jammer or, uh, a counter spy plane, I'm going to use that opportunity to go ahead and sit and camp straight up. I don't like to move around a lot without the radar, um, just for the simple fact I have no idea where my team's at. But again, you can notice that right now, again, my team's on the opposite side of the map. I'm up here by myself, and I'm in deep in enemy territory. I probably would end up dead here if this had been multiplayer, because I got so far into it. Um, but you can see how many guys I'm running into. 
So now I've pretty much cleared out. I'm going to assume that they're going to start spawning, you know what I mean, away from where I'm at. And again, my team's coming up this way, so I'm going to progress down here again. I see one solo arrow. Doesn't really bother me too much. Um, I means at least I have some assistance up here. There's a stife to shoot. But you can see how, how, how I'm in, I mean, there's three or four guys around me right there. My whole team's on the opposite side of the map looking for people. And if I got three to four of their team there, it means I got most of their team because these are only six-man teams. Um, you know, here my team's a little more spread out. Um, kind of going to hold tight and kind of just hold my area until we start sp cluster back up. Now, again, here we have... Nobody over here besides me, and we got one. We got two guys right there. That's already a, a what a third of their team. And by now, you mean this whole back side's open? So I'm gonna go ahead and check it out. Where's the receipt at, honey? Um, as you can see, it is pretty hot. Going to be end up being pretty uh, high kill count up here. Again, there's no sense looking down the center. My whole team's over there, uh, so I'm just going to give it a, a brief look, and then I'm going to continue down this side. Hope you guys enjoyed the video for more trips and ticks.